Hello, my name is Daniel from Cisco SD1 Tech Team. In this video, you'll learn how to onboard a VH Cloud device with manually configuration. The next topology will be used as reference to onboard the VH Cloud device to my SD1 fabric. Step 1 Add VH device in Plug and Play Connect Portal. Log into Software Central with our administrator user. Go to a Smart Licensing section and click on Manage Devices under the Network Plug and Play section. Choose the Smart Account and choose the Virtual Account. Under Devices tab, click on Add Software Devices. Under Identify Devices, click on Add Software Devices. Add the base PSD value for this example, a VH Cloud did use it, and the base PSD is VH Cloud DNA. Enter the quantity value and select the controller profile. Click on Save. Click on Next. Click on Summit. And click in Done. Verify if the device is successfully added to the Plug and Play Connect portal and associate with the Vivo controller profile. To download the provisioning file or authorize device list from the PMP portal, click in Controller Profile tab, then click in Provisioning file on the Download column. Select the controller version. For this case, I will use the 18.3 and newer option and click in Download. The PMP portal to load the file on the local computer with name serialfile.bigtel. Step 2. Upload the provisioning file to vManage controller. To upload the provisioning file in vManage, log in into the vManage controller with netadmin users. Navigate to configuration, devices, and click in Oblop one edge list option. In the Oblop one edge list pop-up window, Oblop the previously downloaded provisioning file. Check, validate the Oblop VH list and central controller option. Click Oblop and click OK. Wait just some minutes until vManage confirms that the tax is complete successful. Step 3. Configure the VH device with basic configuration to form controls connection. Login into the deployed VH router console with default credentials admin admin. Configure the system parameters as system IP, site ID, organization name, and Vivo IP address. Configure the transfer parameters in VPN zeros of such interface IP address, a static road, and tunnel interface. Step 4. Activate the VH Cloud device. Go to Configuration, Devices, identify a VH Cloud serial number token and chassis number. For VH Cloud, it's a mandatory to associate the virtual device with a chassis number and token generated by the vManage when adding the provisioning file. On the VH Cloud device serialize, issue the command request VH Cloud activate chassis number token to associate the chassis number and serial number token to the VH Cloud. Step 5. Verify if the one edge device is too full onboarded. Go to vManage dashboard and confirm that the device is already onboarded in the device status view. Thank you for watching.